Arsenal Fan TV, um, listen, we're through. 5-1 on aggregate. Nobody really thought that we'd do that before this tie, but it's uh, been pretty convincing over the two legs. In the end, Robbie convincing. Um, I think the story of the night, the headlines will be written by Danny Welbeck. Mm. Uh, two goals for Danny Welbeck tonight, um, culminating in his second goal where he bundled in at the end uh, to finish it off for us. And it looked comfortable in the end, but it was anything but that tonight during the game. Um, I think, first of all, the key moment in the game. The first goal was always going to be crucial tonight, um, and Milan got it. And um, first of all, if you look at the way they scored that goal, the way Rodriguez was allowed to move unchallenged down the left-hand side, and then he played it inside to the Turkish international. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. <laughs> And, and I've seen him uh, in Italian football this year hit one or two of those sort of mm. shots before and he has got a wicked shot on him. But first of all, Jacker doesn't come out and close him down quick enough. All right? So um, that ball was hit with uh, Venom admittedly, but Ospina's feet very slow moving across, uh, slowly I across he, the goal. I thought he moved off slowly. So I, I think that was a mistake on a, uh, on a night where both goalkeepers made errors, including their mm. top goalkeeper who spilled uh, Jacker's goal for our second goal. So in the end, it looks comfortable um, and the work was really done the first leg in Milan when we set up in a 4-3-3 with Jacko Ramsey and Wiltshire outstanding out there and uh, defensively we were solid and we took our chances and brought it back here. Now on the night, uh, I think in the, the story of the game was in the first half, we started well. We had we peppered their goal with a few shots. Uh, uh, the goalkeeper, Dumaret. Uh, mm, Dumaret, De 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 yeah. <laughs> these, these names, yeah. Uh, he made two or three outstanding saves in the first half uh, and, and then they scored the goal. Now we responded very quickly. But the incident, when you see it again tonight, um, Rodriguez puts his arm slightly across Danny Welbeck, and Danny Welbeck is dived. Mm. He is cheated, I'm afraid. Uh, and if, if that was, if that, if, if that was, if that had been done by Deli Ali and Harry Kane, we would have been screaming uh, mm. blue murder at that. So we have to condemn Danny Welbeck for that. And as well as we responded and got back in the game, that was a crucial moment in the game just before half time. Uh, so we went in the break, one one at half time. Now in the second half, they come out. Uh, M Milan. They played in a 4-4-2 tonight, but they've got no pace up front, so they had nothing to worry us in behind with two very slow forwards. But they were capable still in Suso, mm, who's a very tricky, good crosses in, weren't very they? tricky player, mm. a very good player who, who obviously didn't mm. cut it at Liverpool, but he's still a very good player. Mm. He slung in one or two good crosses, and even Benucci, I think, slung in an excellent mm. cross in the second half. And uh, Aspino made a couple of good saves to make up for his error. Uh, in the end, it looks like it was a comfortable win, Robbie, but. Um, I think it was anything but that, and uh, I think Wenger. I don't know if it, you know what you say that, but I don't think it was a. I, I, I wasn't really on the edge of my seat, worried. No, uh, once we got that goal back, so yeah, I, I, over two legs, it's quite comfortable. It's five one. It is five one, and and mm. the, and the key moment in the game was the penalty, which mm. put it back to one one. We'll never know what would have happened if they had gone in one nil at half time, or if we, albeit we did respond well and we responded well immediately, but. Had it been 1-0, uh, going into the second half at 1-0, we would never would have known what would have happened. Can we I, win this? I th well, first of all, I thought in the second half, I thought you should have brought El Nenny on quicker. Mm. Because basically they were starting to penetrate through our midfield. And you say, it was only comfortable because we, of the scoreline. Can we win this? Um, well, we can. But you have to say that Atletico Madrid are a class mm. side and we do very well to avoid them and hopefully play them in a one-off game. Your other question, should Wenger remain, should he win the Europa League? I think we've seen in previous years that he's not, hasn't got the tactics for the Champions League. So, so if he gets us back into the Champions League, <laughs> if he gets us back into the Champions League, I think that'd be a great way for him to go. I don't think the football that Wenger plays at the elite level, Robbie, is good enough. And I think that that, that he, we haven't won a European competition since 1994, since Alan Smith scored in Copenhagen. Wenger's never won a European competition. That would be a great way to, for him to go out. If we were to get back in the Champions League, yeah, I think that once again the frailties in the way Wenger sets the team up will be exposed and I think we should look for a new manager with a better tactical philosophy. We're giving you a chance to be on Arsenal Fan TV and give your opinion after the game. All you've got to do is WhatsApp your video and hold the camera like this. Send it straight after.